Welcome back, I'm Jim Hamill. For generations now, vacation rentals have been a huge part of the Pocono Mountains, and only of late, with the advent of things like Airbnb and VRBO, have folks called into question some of the regulations pertaining to those vacation rentals. And so we wanted to find out what are some of the issues facing owners and those who oversee some of the townships and property owners associations that manage those vacation rentals on a daily basis. Do you hear that? Peace and quiet at Mount Maplewood Lodge in Lake Naomi. And that's exactly how owner Ricky Cortez likes it. The investment is, is multi-level in the sense that, you know, we, we use it often. We're here with our family, but uh, we also want to be able to offset the costs when we're not here and then eventually retire here as well. Ricky has been renting this place out for some time now and always with a focus on families and vetting guests to make sure it's the right fit for everyone, including his neighbors. And I always tell my guests too, it's so gorgeously quiet at night and you'll love it. And that's just a hint of, we want you to love it that way too. <laughs> Ricky and many of us in the Poconos are aware of the issues short-term rentals have presented in the recent past as the popularity of Airbnb and VRBO and others has grown. But short-term rentals are nothing new for a Pocono country place, a massive community that has already experienced the growing pains communities are now facing. With 4,100 single-family homes, we watched it go from about 86, maybe 100 over the last five or 10 years of legal rentals to now we're probably about 150 and that's continuing to increase. Kathleen Dunn, community manager at Pocono Country Place, admits there have been bumps in the road with respect to short-term rentals over the years, but points to regulations that strive to help everyone coexist. We formed a short-term rental committee, and we really did a saturation of communication in our newsletter, in our media, our Facebook page. We were able to make those who were not in favor of short-term rentals understand the short-term rentals, and those that were short-term rentals understand how they have to be regulated and to conform. Now, when there's an issue, whether it's noise, garbage, or anything else, a Pocono Country Place can enforce those rules, either with public safety or with the possibility of losing the ability to keep renting. The same is true for municipalities. Judy Acosta handles zoning for numerous townships, including Middle Smithfield and Pocono, and every township or borough is a bit different. If you can find the right regulations to put in place as a municipality and then enforce those regulations, I think you're able to find that perfect medium space where you can, you know, both sides are benefiting from the short-term rentals being in the area and also being regulated so it's not a nuisance. Some of those regulations address how many people can stay at one time or trash removal or even a big one for many, noise. When resources are slim on the local level to enforce these ordinances, short-term rental owners, including Ricky Cortez, are putting measures in place to ensure his guests stay quiet with technology, a device that measures decibel levels for him. It sends them a message if they get above a certain level and a phone call and it says, hey, just keep it down. This is getting to be above the level that's acceptable for this area. Ricky and his family also have outdoor cameras to keep an eye on how many vehicles are in the driveway and also have a code of conduct that stresses keeping a proper balance and staying neighborly. It's quiet hours at 10 p.m. and it's strictly enforced. Um, so if that's not right for you, come back, you know, when you have your, your young one and you can't stay up past 10 p.m. <laughs> At arguably the biggest private community in the Poconos, Kathleen Dunn agrees with that approach and doesn't believe short-term rentals should be stopped, just governed. A lot of times, you know, there is that party house. Um, and it does happen. But as long as if we are reactive to it immediately, that really helps we get in touch with the owner, let them know, this is how you need to comply. This is what you need to do. You need to have X, Y, Z in place. And that X, Y, Z sets them up for success, not only for them financially, but also to be welcomed within the community. As we featured in a previous installment of this series, short-term rentals are big contributors to the local economy, helping to sustain jobs and a big chunk of the tax base. The Pocono Mountains Association of Realtors encourages everyone to educate themselves on the issues. You can find out more 
at their website, PoconoRealtors.com. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.